Learning Objectives After studying this module, students will be able to Explain the meaning of marketing Distinguish between marketing and selling List out important functions of marketing Examine the role of marketing in the development of an economy in a firm, to the society and to consumers Explain the elements of marketing mix. Classify products into different categories. Analyze the factors affecting price determination. List out the types of channels of distribution. And explain the tools of promotion mix, viz. advertising, personal selling, sales promotion and publicity. Introduction to Marketing Market the term market is used to denote a place where the buyers and sellers meet and conduct buying and selling activities. In modern days, business can be conducted on telephone, through mail, internet, etc. Marketer or seller. If a customer is the seeker of satisfaction, the marketer is the provider of satisfaction. Marketer can be a person or an organization who makes available the products or services and offers them to the customer with an intention of satisfying the customer needs and wants. Product In marketing, a product is anything that can be offered to a market that might satisfy a want or need. In retail, products are called merchandise. In manufacturing, Products are purchased as raw materials and sold as finished goods. Marketing Marketing refers to a large set of activities involved in the process of moving a product from the manufacturer to the consumer. It involves whole range of activities relating to planning, pricing, promoting and distributing the products that satisfy customers' needs. Selling the function of selling is restricted to promotion of goods and services through salesmanship, advertising, publicity and short-term incentives so that the title of the product is transferred from seller to the buyer. In other words, a product is converted into cash. Marketing Management it means management of all the activities related to marketing or in other words, we can say it refers to planning, organizing, directing and controlling the activities which result in exchange of goods and services. Marketing management involves following activities. Meaning and features Definition According to Philip Kotler, Marketing is that social process by which individuals and groups obtain what they need and want through creating offerings and freely exchanging products and services of value with others. Features Marketing is a function which facilitates the exchange process. Following are the main features of marketing. Need and Want Marketing is the process of fulfilling the needs and wants of the consumers. All the people have almost the same needs, but their wants happen to be different. A seller tries to find out the needs of the consumers and how those needs are to be satisfied. Creating a market offering. It refers to provide complete information about the product and services. Example, providing information about the name of product and service, type, price, size, center of availability, etc. Customer value. A buyer analyzes the cost and the satisfaction that a product provides before buying it. When he finds that satisfaction, he is ready to buy it. A good marketer has to analyze these to create customer value. Exchange Mechanism Literal meaning of marketing is exchanging things. Marketing has two sides, buyer and seller. Marketing becomes possible only by the medium of exchange between the two. 
For example, the seller gives goods and services and in exchange the buyer gives money or something equivalent to it. Essentials of Exchange Mechanism For any exchange to take place, it is important that the following conditions are satisfied. Involvement of at least two parties, viz. the buyer and the seller. Each party should be capable of offering something of value to the other. Each party should have the ability to communicate and deliver the product or service. Management Philosophies Marketing Management Concepts Marketing management is based on some concepts and philosophies. It is important to decide what philosophy or thinking should guide the marketing efforts of an organization. The important five marketing concepts are discussed here. Production concept. This concept works on an assumption that consumers prefer a product which is inexpensive and widely available. This viewpoint was encapsulated in Say's Law, which states, supply creates its own demand. Hence, companies focus on producing more of the product and making sure that it is available to the customers everywhere easily. Product Concept This concept works on an assumption that customers prefer products of greater quality and price and availability doesn't influence their purchase decision. Hence, Company devotes most of its time in developing a product of greater quality which usually turns out to be expensive. Selling Concept Production and Product Concept both focus on production but Selling Concept focuses on making an actual sale of the product. Selling Concept focuses on making every possible sale of the product regardless of the quality of the product or the need of the customer. The main focus is to make money. This philosophy doesn't include building relations with the customers. Marketing concept Marketing concept implies that a firm can achieve its goals by identifying needs of the customer and satisfying them better than the competitors. Customer satisfaction is the precondition for realizing the firm's goal and objectives. Societal marketing concept. Under this concept, customer satisfaction is supplemented by social welfare. Some products bring harmful effect on the environment, so these should not be supplied. It pays attention to the social, ethical and ecological aspects of marketing. Marketing Functions From the viewpoint of management function, number of activities are involved, which have been described as below. Gathering market information. This is necessary to identify the needs of the customers and take various decisions for the successful marketing of the products and services. Market Planning Marketer has to develop appropriate marketing plans so that the marketing objectives of the organization can be achieved. Product Planning and Development The design of the product contributes to making the product attractive to the target customers. A good design can improve performance of a product and also give it a competitive advantage in the market. Standardization and Grading Standardization refers to producing goods of predetermined specifications which helps in achieving uniformity and consistency in the output. Packaging and Labeling Packaging refers to designing the package for the products. Labeling refers to designing the label to be put on the package. Branding Branding is the process of giving a brand name to the product. Brand name helps in creating product differentiations, that is, providing basis for distinguishing the product of a firm with that of the competitor, which in turn helps in building customers' loyalty and in promoting its sale. Pricing of products Price of product refers to the amount of money customers have to pay to obtain a product. 
price is an important factor affecting the success or failure of a product in the market. The demand for a product or service is related to its price. Physical distribution. The two major decision areas under this function includes decision regarding the channels of distribution and physical movement of the product from where it is produced to a place where it is required by the customers. Marketing mix. Marketing mix is described as the set of marketing tools that a firm uses to pursue its marketing objectives in a target market. The marketing mix is often synonymous with the four P's price, promotion, product and place. Elements of marketing mix. The marketing mix consists of various variables which have been broadly classified into four categories Properly known as four P's of marketing. These are 1. Product 2. Price 3. Place and 4. Promotion and are discussed as follows. Product. Product means goods or services or anything of value which is offered to the market for exchange. For example, LG Electronics offers televisions, refrigerators, color monitors for computers, etc. Price. Price creates a value to the products and influence the customer in both ways. Price is the amount of money customers have to pay to obtain the product. In most of the cases, there is an inverse relation between the price and demand for the products. Place. Place or physical distribution include activities that make firms' products available to the target customers. Important decision areas in this respect include selection of dealers or intermediaries to reach the customers, providing support to the intermediaries, etc. Promotion. Promotion is the sum of all efforts to market the products. Promotion of products and services include activities that communicate availability, features, merits, etc. of the products to the target customers and persuade them to buy it. A good promotion mix involves branding of the products, labeling, pricing, conducting sales promotion activities and much more. Classification of Products Products In general sense, the term product is used to refer only to the physical or tangible attributes of a product. However, some intangible features or utility is also attached with the same. Classification of Products On the basis of the nature and usage, products are classified into different categories. Consumer Goods Products which are purchased by the ultimate consumers for satisfying their personal needs. Industrial goods. Industrial products are those products which are used as inputs in producing other products. The examples of such products are raw materials, engines, lubricants, etc. Non-durable products. The consumer products which are normally consumed in one or a few uses are called non-durable products. For example, products like toothpaste, detergents, bathing soap, etc. Durable products. Those tangible consumer products which normally survive many uses. For example, refrigerator, radio, bicycle, etc. Services. Services are intangible in form. By services, we mean those activities, benefits or satisfactions which are offered for sale. Example, watch repairs, hair cutting, postal services, services offered by a doctor, etc. Convenience products. Those consumer products which are purchased frequently, immediately and with least time and efforts are referred to as convenience goods. Examples of such products 
are ice creams, newspapers, medicines, etc. Shopping products. Shopping products are those consumer goods in the purchase of which buyers devote considerable time to compare the quality, price, style, suitability, etc. For example, purchase of jewellery, clothes, television, etc. Specialty products. Specialty products are those consumer goods which have certain special features because of which people make special efforts in their purchase. For example, rare collection of artworks. Branding. Branding is the process of giving a brand name to the product. The brand name will enable the marketer to create a difference for his products from that of the competitors. Brand. A brand is a name, term, sign, symbol, design or some combination of them used to identify the products, goods or services of one seller or group of sellers and to differentiate them from those of the competitors. For example, some of the common brands are Tata, Reliance, Infosys, etc. Brand name. A brand name is that part of a brand which can be spoken, is called a brand name. In other words, brand name is the verbal component of a brand. For example, Asian Paints, Sephola, Maggie, Lifeboy, Dunlop and Uncle Chips are the brand names. Brand Mark A brand mark is that part of a brand which can be recognized but which is not utter able is called brand mark. It appears in the form of a symbol, design, distinct color scheme or lettering. Trademark A brand or part of a brand that is given legal protection is called trademark. The protection is given against its use by other firms. Thus, the firm which got its brand registered gets the exclusive right for its use. Advantages of branding to the marketer Branding helps the marketer in many different ways. Some of them includes product differentiation, advertising and product display, differential pricing, ease of introduction of new products, etc. Advantages of branding to the customers Branding is helpful to the customers as well. It helps the customers to identify the products and ensures the quality of the products which they are using. A well-established brand also serve as status symbol to the customers. Labeling Labeling is the process of displaying of information about a product on its container, packaging or the product itself. For several types of consumer and industrial products, the type and extent of information that must be imparted by a label is governed by the relevant safety and shipping laws. Functions of labeling The various functions performed by a label are as follows. Describe the product and specify its contents. Label helps to describe the product, what the product is all about, what it meant for, what does it contain, the quality features, etc. can be described through a good label. Identification of the product or brand. The other important function performed by labels is to help in identifying the product or brand. For example, the brand name of and product, say biscuits or potato chips, imprinted on its package helps us to identify from number of packages which one is our favorite brand. Grading of products Another important function performed by labels is to help grading the products into different categories. Sometimes, marketers assign different grades to indicate different features or quality of the product. Help in promotion of products An important function of label is to aid in promotion of the products. 
a carefully designed label can attract attention and give reason to purchase, providing information required by law. Another important function of labeling is to provide information required by law. For example, the statutory warning on the package of cigarettes or pan masala, smoking is injurious to health or chewing tobacco is injurious to health. Packaging Packaging is the science, art and technology of enclosing or protecting products for distribution, storage, sale and use. Packaging also refers to the process of designing, evaluating and producing packages. Levels of Packaging There can be three different levels of packaging. These are as below. Primary Package it refers to the product's immediate container. In some cases, the primary package is kept till the consumer is ready to use the product. Secondary packaging. It refers to additional layers of protection that are kept till the product is ready for use. Example, a tube of shaving cream usually comes in a cardboard box. When consumer starts using the shaving cream, they will dispose of the box but retain the primary tube. Transportation Packaging It refers to further packaging components necessary for storage, identification or transportation. For example, a toothpaste manufacturer may send the goods to retailers in corrugated boxes containing 10, 20 or 100 units. Importance of Packaging Packaging has acquired great significance in the marketing of goods and services because of following reasons. Rising standards of health and sanitation. Because of the increasing standards of living in the country, more and more people have started purchasing packed goods as the chances of adulteration in such goods are minimized. Self-service outlets. The self-service retail outlets are becoming very popular, particularly in major cities and towns. Because of this, some of the traditional role assigned to personal selling in respect of promotion has gone to packaging. Innovational Opportunity Some of the recent developments in the area of packaging have completely changed the marketing scene in the country. For example, Milk can now be stored for four to five days without refrigeration in the recently developed packing materials. Pricing The sum of the values that the consumers exchange for the benefit of having or using the product is referred to as the price of the product. The process of assigning a monetary value to a product is referred to as pricing. Factors affecting the price There are a number of factors which affect the fixation of the price of a product. Some of the important factors in this regard are seen below. Cost While fixing the prices of a product, the firm should consider the cost involved in producing the product. This cost includes both the variable and fixed costs. Thus, while fixing the prices, the firm must be able to recover both the variable and the fixed costs. The predetermined objectives. While fixing the prices of the product, the marketer should consider the objectives of the firm. For instance, if the objective of a firm is to increase return on investment, then it may charge a higher price and if the objective is to capture a larger market share, then it may charge a lower price. Competition While fixing the price of the product, the firm needs to study the degree of competition in the market. If there is high competition, the prices may be kept low to effectively face the competition. And if competition is low, the prices may be kept high. Consumers The marketer should consider various consumer factors while fixing the prices. The consumer factors that must be considered includes the price sensitivity of the buyer, purchasing power and so on. 
government control. Government rules and regulation must be considered while fixing the prices. In certain products, government may announce administered prices and therefore the marketer has to consider such regulation while fixing the prices. Channels of Distribution Channels of distribution is the connecting link in between the producers and the ultimate consumers. Depends on the nature of goods and the geographical area, the length of the channels will differ. Types of Channels of Distribution A manufacturer may choose from the following different channels of distribution depending on the nature of product and business objectives. Direct Channel Zero Level the most simple and the shortest mode of distribution is direct distribution, wherein the goods are made directly available by the manufacturers to customers without any intermediaries. One level channel. In this method, an intermediary is used. Here, a manufacturer sells the goods directly to the retailer instead of selling it to agents or wholesalers. The method is used for expensive watches and other like products. This method is also useful for selling FMCG, fast-moving consumer goods. Two-level channel. In this method, a manufacturer sells the material to a wholesaler, the wholesaler to the retailer, and then the retailer to the consumer. Here, the wholesaler, after purchasing the material in large quantity from the manufacturer, sells it in small quantity to the retailer. Then, the retailers make the products available to the consumers. Three-level channel. Under this, one more level is added to two-level channel in the form of agent. An agent facilitates to reduce the distance between the manufacturer and the wholesaler. Some big companies who cannot directly contact the wholesaler, they take the help of agents. Such companies appoint their agents in every region and sell the material to them. Factors determining channels of distribution Choice of appropriate channel of distribution is a very important marketing decision which affects the performance of an organization. The choice of a channel depends on the different factors as explained in the diagram. Functions of Distribution Channels Channels of distribution smoothen the flow of goods by creating possession, place and time utilities. They facilitate movement of goods from one place to another. The important functions of distribution channels are Sorting Middlemen procure supplies of goods from a variety of sources, which is often not of the same quality, nature and size. Accumulation This function involves accumulation of goods into larger homogeneous stocks, which help in maintaining continuous flow of supply. Allocation Allocation involves breaking homogeneous stock into smaller, marketable lots. For example, in a cashew nut processing, once cashew nuts are graded and large quantities are built, these are divided into convenient packs of, say, 1 kilogram, 500 grams and 250 grams to sell them to different types of buyers. Assorting Middlemen build assortment of products for resale. There is usually a difference between the product lines made by manufacturers and the assortment or combinations desired by the users. Product promotion. Mostly advertising and other sales promotion activities are organized by manufacturers. Middlemen also participate in certain activities such as demonstrations special displays, contests, etc. to increase the sale of products. Negotiation Channels operate with manufacturers on the one hand and customers one the other. Arriving at deals that satisfy both the parties is another important function of the middlemen. They negotiate the price, 
quality, guarantee and other related matters with customers so that transfer of ownership is properly affected. Risk taking. In the process of distribution of goods, the merchant middlemen take title of the goods and thereby assume risks on account of price and demand fluctuations, spoilage, destruction, etc. Physical distribution Physical distribution is the group of activities associated with the supply of finished product from the production line to the consumers. The physical distribution considers many sales distribution channels such as wholesale and retail and includes critical decision areas. Components of physical distribution Physical distribution consists of many factors like customer service, inventory, materials, packaging, order processing and transportation and logistics. Some of them are discussed here. Order processing. A company receives orders from other companies, middlemen or directly from customers through mail, email, fax, phone or salesmen. Order processing is an important component of the distribution system. It is considered as a key to customer service and satisfaction. Transportation. Transportation is one of the core components of distribution system. It consists of moving or transferring products from producers to final users. Western Railway, Indian Airline, Indian Shipping Companies and many other private carriers provide transportation services by road, rail, water, air and underground pipes. Warehousing Warehousing plays an important role for balancing demand and supply. It facilitates both continuous production and continuous marketing of the production. Warehousing service can contribute to customer satisfaction. Be clear that storage and warehousing are not similar terms, though are closely related. Inventory control. Inventory refers to stock of goods meant for the future sales. It can also be said as reservoir of goods held in anticipation of sales. Demand is fluctuating and exact prediction is not possible. So, the primary purpose of holding inventory is to meet market demand continuously. The customer service. The customer service function is a strategically designed standard for customer satisfaction that the business intends to provide to its customers. As an example, a customer satisfaction approach for the handbag business mentioned above may be that 75% of all custom handbags are delivered to the customer within 72 hours of ordering. Promotion Sales Promotion Promotion refers to the use of communication with the twin objective of informing potential customers about a product and persuading them to buy it. Promotion Mix Promotion mix refers to a combination of promotional tools used by an organization to achieve its communication objectives. Advertising Advertising is defined as any paid form of non-personal presentation and promotion of ideas, goods and services by an identified sponsor. It is a way of mass communication. Various advertising media Television, radio, newspapers, magazines, outdoor means and so forth are used for advertising the product. Sales promotion. Sales promotion covers those marketing activities other than advertising, publicity and personal selling that stimulate consumer purchasing and dealer effectiveness. Sales promotion mainly involves short-term and non-routine incentives offered to dealers as well consumers. Personal selling. Personal selling includes face-to-face -face personal communication and presentation with prospects for the purpose of selling the products. 
it involves personal conversation and presentation of products with customers. It is considered as a highly effective and costly tool for market promotion. Publicity Publicity is also a way of mass communication. It is not a paid form of mass communication that involves getting favorable response of buyers by placing commercially significant news in mass media. Public Relations The public relations is comprehensive term that includes maintaining constructive relations not only with customers, suppliers and middlemen but also with a large set of interested publics. Note that public relations include publicity, that is, publicity is the part of public relations. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. The term market is used to denote a place where the buyers and sellers meet and conduct buying and selling activities. Marketing refers to a large set of activities involved in the process of moving a product from the manufacturer to the consumer. Marketing has two sides, buyer and seller. It becomes possible only by the medium of exchange between the two. Five major marketing concepts include Production concept Product concept Selling concept marketing concept and societal marketing concept. Packaging refers to designing the package for the products while labeling refers to designing the label to be put on the package. Branding is the process of giving a brand name to the product. It helps in creating product differentiations. A brand or part of a brand that is given legal protection is called trademark. Branding helps the marketer in many different ways. Some of them includes product differentiation, advertising and product display, differential pricing, ease of introduction to new products, etc. The sum of the values that the consumers exchange for the benefit of having or using the product is referred as the price of the product. Channels of distribution is the connecting link in between the producers and the ultimate consumers. Channels of distribution smoothen the flow of goods by creating possession, place and time utilities. Physical distribution consists of many factors like customer service, inventory, materials, packaging, order processing and transportation and logistics.